HTTP cookie, web cookie, internet cookie, browser cookie, cookie data, cookie. What does it really mean to accept cookies? 1994, Web 1.0. Lou Montulli is at Netscape, working on a way to help websites make money. Back then, website visitors were anonymous. Recommendations based on a visitor's preferences weren't a thing. So Montulli came up with the cookie. Cookies would let websites get to know and serve their users better and make some coin while they were at it. Anyway, this kind of cookie takes the shape of a tiny text file stored on an internet user's computer. The name cookie comes from a computer science term, magic cookie. Translation, cookies allow websites to identify you and remember things about you. Like how many times you visited, what you put in your shopping cart, what terms you searched for. As speculation mounted, the dot-com bubble grew and grew and eventually burst. Few internet companies survived, and the ones who did had one thing in common. They were using cookies to serve ads. 1996, Web 2.0. The media reports that cookies pose a threat to privacy because they're stored without a user's knowledge or consent. But cookies in and of themselves are benign. It's all about how they're used. Government surveillance, content recommendations, stolen by hackers, and targeted advertising, which gave rise to the pixeling of every site with scores of cookies trying to make every click count. And so cookies were deemed creepy. Once a cookie is shared with a website other than the one you're visiting, it morphs into its alter ego, the third-party cookie. So if you click on a pair of shoes out on the internet, that cookie may be shared back to Facebook, which then serves you ads related to what you clicked on. Or say you're shown a banner ad on a blog. The company behind that banner ad can set a cookie and retarget you later across a variety of sites that they've bought ad space on. When used and shared like this, cookies allow advertisers to build profiles of users' interests, spending habits, and lifestyles to serve them relevant ads. And then publishers, social media, retailers, and content creators make money from those ad placements rather than charging users for access. 2018. The data privacy conversation has come to a head, and CPPA, EPR, and GDPR legislation are passed to protect the privacy of internet users. Seeing the coming crisis, many browsers banned the sharing of cookies on their systems, except for their own, of course. 2021, Web 3.0. When browsers bail on the liability of third-party cookies, all the businesses that pay companies like Google and Facebook for access to users through ads, they're gonna have to find a new way. The first party cookie isn't going away. They make the World Wide Web go around. But businesses will need to know their users directly. They'll have to be data independent with the help of a customer data platform. The promise is people will have control over what data companies have on them. Everyone will own their digital identity. We don't know yet where digital identity will reside with individuals, with companies, or with the government. But what we do know is that when you click accept, you'll know what you're accepting. And that's the way the cookie crumbles.